Hi there, welcome to the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us today. I'm gonna be talking about why do chickens molt? Before I get into that, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also be sure to subscribe to our website, thehappychickencoop.com. If you subscribe using the link in the description, you'll receive a free ebook on the 10 best egg laying chicken breeds. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. The autumn leaves are falling from the trees and feathers are falling from your chickens. Chicken molting, what is it? Shorter days and cooler temperatures trigger an automatic response in the chicken so they molt shedding the old and acquiring glossy new feathers in this video i'm going to present to you what to expect how to help your chickens and other molting tidbits sit back and relax because there's no hurrying the molting process so let's start off why do chickens molt over time their plumage becomes dulled broken and shabby we don't notice because we see our birds daily but if you compare a freshly molted chicken with their unmolted sisters you will see the difference feathers that are broken and worn out are not able to insulate the birds against the elements of wind rain and snow which accompany the winter season. These molting discards are broken, tired, old feathers with new shiny tight feathers. A new vibrant plumage also attracts more attention from the opposite sex. So when do hens molt? Usually the molt starts around in the fall, ready for winter, but it can vary by several weeks. Currently October, my girls have almost finished molting, but in the past years, some have been molting well into the cold season. They look quite pathetic, semi-bald and shivering from the cold, but they all survived. An old wise tale is that if chickens molt early, it's going to be a bad winter. I'm hoping that's not true. Generally, the fastest molters are actually the best layers. So watch carefully and you'll be able to pick out your hardest workers. Chickens usually have their first molt between 15 and 18 months of age. Broody hens may molt after they're done with their chicks. Broodies always look a bit disheveled and worn out after caring for their chicks. So it seems like a reasonable time to start. So how long does the molt take? It depends on the bird. Every bird will slightly have a different timetable, but the entire process can take anywhere from three to 16 weeks. I have found that older hens seem to take longer to replace their dropped feathers. The molt progresses in a distinct pattern. It starts at the head, proceeds to the breast and thighs, and finally arriving at the tail. Now, let's talk about how to care for chickens during molt. As you probably know, feathers are around 85% protein, so during the molt, hens need to increase their protein intake. For the molting period, a couple weeks after switching them to a feed that has no less than 18% protein or game bird feed, which is 20 to 22%. An increase in protein will help them replace those feathers more easily, although constantly giving them high protein can damage their health in the long term short periods of increased protein are necessary for the bird to maintain and rebuild feathers and health always make sure that they have abundant water available to them in addition to the high protein feed you can add supplements to the water to ensure they're getting sufficient vitamins and minerals there are several different good brands out there all are quite similar but some have added lactobacilli which are good for gut health apple cider vinegar can also be added to their water to help ensure healthy digestion finally because i know people love to give snacks to their hens how many treats should you give chickens during the molt the treat intake should be limited to 10% or less of their daily intake. You don't want them filling up on junk food that has little protein. Healthy snacks include mealworms, tuna fish in the water, or low sodium, cat food, black oil, sunflower seeds, or fish pellets. However, pelleted fish food may have a high amount of protein, so use it sparingly. Now, what do we do if my hens have stopped laying during their molt? Molting is extremely stressful and draining for them. They need a huge amount of protein to make new feathers. Making eggs also drains them a lot of protein as well, so something has to give. This can be considered the end of hens laying cycle for the year. When hens start to lay eggs again, she has started another year on her egg calendar. Daylight has a lot to do with the restarting of the laying cycle. A hen needs around 14 to 16 hours of daylight daylight to lay an egg. This is why many people add light to their coops in winter. Winter is the time for hens to slow down or even stop producing eggs during this time of slow production. A hen is preparing for the months ahead, which would be cold and where food and water may be scarce. In the wild, a self-preservation takes top priority. If you decide to add a light to the coop during the winter to keep a good supply of eggs going, always add the extra hours in the morning. This way they will see the fading daylight as the time to roost. It doesn't cause such a commotion. The light doesn't have to be obnoxiously bright and short. In order to stay the same amount of light per day, you'll need to adjust the timing frequently to allow for shorter than longer days. Please make sure your lamp is secured. Restless birds can easily dislodge a poorly placed lamp and cause a coop fire. Now, what do you do if a flock is picking at each other? Unfortunately, this is a nasty vice of chickens, even when not molting it. It can become problematic during the molt though. The pin feathers are supplied 
with blood while they are growing. So when a pin feather is pecked or plucked at it, it can bleed profusely, which can cause even more trouble. If you find any hens with bloody feathers or skin, remove them from the flock and carefully give them a once over to see the extent of the damage. When it's just one small area or an individual feather, paint the area with blue coat or similar. If the damage is more extensive, you may have to paint several areas and temporarily remove her from the flock. If it continues to ooze blood for an extended period of time, you can use a styptic powder to stop the bleeding. The blue coat disguises the color red, which chickens are drawn to. If you do not remove a hen that has significant damage already, she will likely be pecked to death. So let's go through some questions. Now, do chicks molt? Yes, they do, but you don't really notice it too much. The first molt starts at around seven days when the down is replaced by sparse feathers. The second molt is around seven to 12 weeks when they lose their baby feathers and grow an adult plumage. How can I stop them from molting? You can't. It's a natural process that all birds go through. Molting is triggered by the changing seasons and decreased daylight and cooler temperatures. Best you can do is wait patiently for it to be done. What is a soft molt? Your chickens will experience soft molts and hard molts. A soft molt is when the bird seems to lose very little in the feather department. You may see them looking tatty and ragged with missing feathers, but very little in the way of bare skin. A hard molt leaves your hens looking like she went through a chicken plucker. She will have large areas of skin visible. Some birds are almost bald in a hard molt. Make sure the coop is draft free so she can sit inside and be miserable, but warm if she wants to. Now, what is stress molting? Stress molting occurs when the birds are feeling stressed. It can be caused by a lack of food or water or a change in coop lighting or other similar occurrences. In the poultry industry, stress molting can be induced by withholding food and water and changing the light. This is done to ensure a regulated supply of eggs to the customer. It is a practice that is banned in many countries and it is incredibly cruel. Should I buy them chicken sweaters? Emphatically, no. Chickens do not need sweaters. Seeing your hens ragged or bald is pitiful and pulls at the heartstrings, but they will soon look much better. The pin feathers that are coming on are extremely sensitive to the touch, so putting a sweater on will cause the burn a lot of pain and misery. Do my birds have dandruff? What you are seeing is the discarded waxy covering of the pin feathers. It acts as a protection for these new fragile feathers until they are fully developed, and yes, it really does look like dandruff. Quick housekeeping tip. Once the majority of your birds have got their new feathers coming in, it's a great time to do the fall housekeeping. Clean the coop walls with water, vinegar mix, and sweep out the old bedding. Clean out nesting boxes and check for any holes or entrance points for vermin dust with poultry dust if you desire then add new bedding so to summarize molting is always seems to make the hens look sad they look tired and tatty and their feathers look draggled once they have the new feathers in they seem to suddenly perk up in looks and energy try to keep a close watch on the hens that are lower in the pecking order they are likely targets for feather pickers during the molt please remember to pet and handle them as little as possible during the molt as the new pin feathers are sensitive be observant for signs of illness this is a time when the birds is most susceptible to bugs and viruses giving them added vitamins in their water will help tremendously and don't forget the apple cider vinegar for the winter months ahead we hope this helps you through the molting period and explains some of the problems associated with it be patient this is a time for rest and renewal they will soon be ready to start up production for you again soon that's going to do it for us here at the happy chicken coop thanks for listening if you find our content interesting if you learn something new please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the youtube channel and with that i hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon